Okay. So I was thinking of just pulling in ebooks that we could find on remote work. What do you think? Yeah, let's pull in some ebooks. Um, we can also pull in some web pages and do the web page capture thing. Let me pull in some stuff from Miro's blog, actually. Oh, and Anna sent us a document. Yeah, actually, these are a lot of our resources here. If I just paste them, they paste us stickies. Yeah, they'll paste the stickies. Remote meetings, the ultimate guide to remote meetings. Oh, I like this one on remote one on ones. This is a good blog. Yeah, I should drop that in. There was that one on icebreakers. Really oh, nice. yeah. That's a good one as well. Hey, you can post a link to the YouTube video as well. I'll grab that. Because they definitely go hand in hand. Do we have any here? So should we do like... Oh, yeah. I love how web pages come in so big. It's like Huge. crazy how big they come in. So we really have more ink. I like I propose like at the end of the day, we don't care if we are there other like we can do like general over here, like general best practices or something. And then mm -hmm. here this is could be like one on ones. Or something. I don't know. Is that too specific? I think it could be yeah, however yeah. we want it to be. Let's start building it. Um, yeah, I saw a lot actually. It's a lot on LinkedIn. I think people are sharing a lot of resources there. I wonder if I could find. So it's not one on one, it's like management of remote teams. Right? Because hosting one on ones is relevant for remote team members. Yeah, for sure. I know a lot of people actually do their one-on-ones on a Miro board. If at some point the does have their own then... So let's do here, see some other things in here. Remote team meeting etiquette. I just really like how you pop in. The links and drop it in. And you have this little preview. Have you seen our one-on-one -on -one template? I haven't actually. Let me check on one thing. Okay. 
Matt, are you still are you still seeing my screen? Uh, no, I have the YouTube live up here over here. Now I see your screen. Is it the um, whiteboard? Yeah. Okay, cool. I was thinking we could start pulling out like key insights or something as we pull in these. What do you mean by key insights? Like this guy in this article. I'm about to sneeze. Bless you. <laughs> Thanks. This point, after using Google Docs for one on ones, I noticed that some of my team members. It's that for some team members, it's hard to track progress and identify roadblocks. So they switched over to a Kanban. Mm. I never use an orange sticky. Yellow all the way, right? I, I never use an <laughs> orange one. I actually really like the way this orange one looks. That's funny. I never realized that I never use the orange ones. Maybe I'm just having like color fatigue. Like, you know how normally you might like only decide that you like something after getting tired of everything else? Yeah. Like clothes? <laughs> like clothes, yeah, sure. <laughs> So this one, it's saying that you need to prioritize one-on-ones in remote because people are less likely to share um, and do performance on reflection when they, when you're remote. There's like less opportunities to have like frank conversations. Mm. You know, actually, there was a lot of uh, good resources I saw on Twitter. There's a lot of people just sharing content. And let's see if I can find some here. Making design sprints work for remote teams. That's a good one. I just created a remote workshops frame. Should I put the design sprint there? Is design sprints always a workshop? I guess usually, right? Like inherently, yeah. a design mm -hmm. sprint is a workshop. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to grab a couple of relevant videos here. I actually have a video on building agile teams without face-to-face -face interactions. Did you know that? Oh, really? Did you know that? Did No, did I didn't. Even, did you even know that? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, I, I just pasted when, it twice. This is when I read. Like the sappier one. Oh, okay. I'm our friends at Zapier. All right. Is Zapier an authority on remote work? <laughs> I guess maybe. Well, they are. 
like workplace like automation they're well they're remote first i think um oh uh, really i didn't know that yeah some self-promotion here hey it's relevant <laughs> 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 it's relevant. <laughs> Do you think I should have like um, a frame for like LinkedIn content I find on LinkedIn. Cause I know a lot of people have been sharing there, but there's just like a bunch of links. I don't think we need to categorize it by LinkedIn. Okay. Cause it's not like we'll search. It's not like we're ever gonna be like, I only wanna see stuff from LinkedIn. I mean, maybe, but. That's true. All the thought leaders out there. Do you mind if I lay this web page flat so I can read it? Oh, what do you mean? Like, like having the, one the whole over thing here. on there? Yeah. yeah. Are you still seeing the board? Yep. Well, I mean, yep. Cool. Who wrote this? Oh, it's just mad. I honestly think that for remote workshops, one of the biggest keys is just getting people in the tool ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Like setting all of that up. Yeah. And then giving them an opportunity to play around and like give them a brainstorm or give them something to do just so they can like practice safely. Because mm -hmm. nobody wants to be that guy in a workshop that's like, I can't log in. You know, and they're like, oh, just like everybody wait for Clementine. Clementine. <laughs> Clements. Frickin' Clements. Clements. Always having trouble logging in. So, so I remember uh, in the distributed 2019 remote did their or just mad did their um, their presentation and they were talking about how like the normal remote design or the normal design sprint is four days like hardcore yeah but they found that people couldn't do that remote like they had to change it because people couldn't sit at a computer with for that long yeah at that long and so they changed it and they added in like more breakout sessions where people would go and they would work on something on their own and then bring it back um to give people like significant breaks um which i think is interesting yeah that makes sense i mean having to sit there and processing it through yeah, see, days one and two are still workshop days with the full team, but notice how the sessions are broken into chunks, alternating alternating between online and offline workshops right here. Mm -hmm. yeah, I see that.
I feel like that deserves a star. Oh, look at that star. Such a beautiful star. Oh, I like that. That little hacky uh, highlighting. Yeah. You like that? Yeah, I do. I like and drop that, drop the opacity there. Mm -hmm. Nice, I like it. Can you actually link this web page? Or is it already? Oh, it's already there. That's great. Mm -hmm. I see it. People can't. They just people, can't. People, people just <laughs> can't. <laughs> people just cannot. People can't do a remote meeting for as long as a physical workshop. Break it down to smaller chunks. I also remember from that presentation that um, I forget what their names were, but um, one of them, one of them does the workshop and then the other like just sits there watching everybody on their webcams mm -hmm. to make sure that they're paying attention and she'll DM them directly. No way. Yes. To like, they, they force everyone to have their cameras on because everyone should do that if you're working remote. Yeah. Um, should we have just like a general like best practice, like a, I don't know, like a collection, like sticky notes of best practices. But for yeah, so, remote sessions. Yeah, for remote sessions. Yeah. Like sticky note list. But anyway, she said that they, because it was such a problem getting everyone to participate for that long. Yeah, one person would do the session. The other person would have like gallery view on in Zoom and just watch people. And what do you think they, they called that role? Remote, well, they would, like, switch remote babysitter. Off. Yeah, they would switch off. Um, Matt, actually, do you mind sharing your screen? You can switch yeah. off. Sure. Right, I'm stuck. Okay. Thank you. Does it work? Yeah, I see it. I'm just waiting it for it to show up on the, the live stream to make sure that it's working. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a couple of live viewers. If you're live, and you're not from Miro. <laughs> you can post something in the chat and ask us questions. Oh yeah, it's working. All right, what else should we pull in here? Oh, I remember this. Um, oh, it's another design sprints article. I remember CDK, CDK Global did a lot of promotion with us like mm -hmm. two years ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's an interesting Where one. How Buffer is managing product development with a fully distributed team. Let's see if there's any insights in that one. Yeah. I guess that could go under management of remote teams. So if you are watching and you're wondering how we're doing this, like posting the full article so you can read it on the board, it's in your more tools. It's down here. You click on the three dots and then you go um, up here, web, web page capture and just put in any publicly facing uh, URL and you should be able to, to have it up here. And it just pulls it right in. And I like that it, it links it already too. Mm-hmm. My wife, everyone, making a classic appearance. Oh, she's hiding and running away. <laughs> so embarrassed. Remote work problems. Uh -huh. Well, I live in a tiny little apartment, and my desk is like next to the living room. Mm -hmm. Every deal is 
gonna go um, through. Not true. Now we're gonna help prioritize. So you're seeing the uh, you're seeing this on YouTube, right? For some reason I can't. Uh, yeah, I pulled up like as a viewer. I pulled up the stream. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Unlike in-person communication, there are few buffers online to prevent negativity from being consuming. I have experienced this firsthand. So at my last company, we it was very remote environment, and um, people never turned on their cameras. Ever. I feel like that's normally how people do it, right? Well, in in my experience, like it's so much, and I'm guilty of this too. When you're just texting someone or you're talking to like a face that has these like vibrations coming out of it, it is so much easier to be mean. Like that's very true. Because <laughs> you like forget that they're a human being. You see their faces. It's easier to be negative and mean when working remotely. That is true. Some notes about transparency. Transparency can be such a buzzword. It's hard to like actually know what people mean when they say encourage transparency. I feel like transparency is like um, the word collaboration. <laughs> <laughs> what is collaboration? Is it the thing that I do in like a project management tool? Yeah. Technically. Tom, Tom recommends having daily stands up when the entire engineer, designers, PMs all should be there. Everyone, until everyone in the company has built up trust, a daily stand up is very useful. But the buffer team has progressed beyond that, getting together for a single weekly full team meeting. These meetings are done, meetings are done over video chat, and team members always have access to one another through Slack. During the planning process, be as detailed as possible about upcoming tasks is critical. So he's saying, like, in the beginning, you need to be more intentional. And once people have built up remote trust, then you can. Then you can relax the standards. Yeah, that makes sense. Because it's like having to rebuild some of those like team norms, right? Yeah. What if we just search Google for remote team stand-up template and see what people come up with? If I go to images, and then we can pull those in. Oh, I should just do it from within Miro. What am I doing? What am I doing? Google image search. Remote daily stand-up template. I want to do like um, maybe like a Oh, I like this. My advice for newbies to remote work. Start your day with clear priorities, have a dedicated workspace, take a short break every 90 minutes, have calls to stay connected with your colleagues, keep your cell phone in another room when you need to focus. Dude, those are legit. Yeah. I can personally attest to every single one of those. <laughs> don't, don't wear your pajamas. <laughs> 
dude, right? Yeah. You are so much less productive. Don't wear your pajamas. Get ready for your day. Get ready for the day. This one takes short breaks every 90 minutes. There's a thing about working working in an office where you'll like just turn to your colleague and chat for 10 mm-hmm. minutes. And then all of a sudden you're like working, but then you're remote and you're like, and people got to make, I got to make sure that like uh, yeah. people know I'm being productive. And I know. it's true. Yeah. Um, it's like having and, Slack, just, you're just like on Slack, just right. making sure you read everything that's bolded. You have to give yourself a break. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's just classic daily standup. What did I do today? What am I doing? What are my blockers? So in Miro, this just looks like three, like nine sticky notes. So draw the sticky note, pull it out on the side to make it a big one. What did I do yesterday? What will I do today? Hey Matt, when I um when I have that Miro Chrome extension, my images where are they? Where can I pull them in from? Great question, Melissa. No, I'm like actually <laughs> seriously asking. No, yeah, go to upload. Go to upload. Ah, uh, uh-huh. and there's okay, a library okay. underneath Chrome extension. For those of you watching my screen, she's talking about our Chrome extension here. So. You can get it from the Chrome library. Um, do I have an example? I don't know. Um, so if I'm on like Miro's homepage or whatever. Or whatever. Or whatever. Well, Just... you wouldn't do it in this case because if you're getting Miro's homepage, you would use the web capture tool because it'll stay up to date and things like that. But if you're behind a login screen, like let's say you're a UX designer and you want to capture uh, onboarding flow, that's a really good use case for the Chrome extension. So you download it and then you can do like entire screen or visible area, selected area, fine. Like let's say, oh, I wanna grab our bar up here and I click save. Mm -hmm. And then it should show up over here. Okay, well, it didn't give me the confirmation, but it did pop up here. So you go to your upload tool and then you go to Chrome extension and then all you have a little library in there. I'm what was that other that one around. that you were talking about? The web capture tool? Yeah. The web page capture? Mm-hmm. You go to the three dots and then it's usually at the top, but it might be different for yours. It's called web page capture. I see it. Yeah. Do you see it? Yeah, actually, for a long time, I didn't know these were actually movable. Which ones? Right. So if you like go back to your go back to the three dots, or even in your um, the left menu. Oh, there, yeah, yeah. You can actually move them. Yeah. Move them into your toolbar. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Okay, I'm gonna finish making this template. Okay. Wait, is this not a template? Daily stand up? Stand up. Oh, can't type. Stand up. Daily. Oh, no, there's no like proper template for this. Hmm. We can make it. We should. We should make, do that. Make it that company template. I think that's what's great, right? Like you can kind of make anything a template, and then just reuse them. And if you need to make changes, then it's really easy to. I think what I find helpful too is um, you know, a lot of people share like their slide shares their slides and it's easy to just kind of screenshot it drop it on the board and then recreate it so that it's actually something that you can use within Miro on the board right oh these guys do their stand-ups in slack works too Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that's in remote workshops. I should do that in remote meetings. Maybe. Should I pass the screen share over to you? Back over to you. Um, sure you can. I'm just kind of perusing Twitter right now. See what's happening. Do you remember this? What? Do you remember this incident? <laughs> no. He was it calling. Looks... It. He was calling in, and he was obviously at home. If you click and open Twitter. <gasps> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's the best. It's the best gift to kind of like. Oh my gosh. Is it is it GIF or GIF? We'll never settle the debate. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but anyways, she's she's come in. She comes in and. He's giving his special report there. <laughs> it's so good. Hey, he's a family man. What are you going to do? Yeah, exactly. You got to respect the family man. <laughs> so there's management of remote team members. There's remote workshops. There's also just like remote, like, like the brainstorming bit. Like just like shooting off of the cuff, basically what we're doing, right? There's <laughs> what we're doing. No, yeah, it's not yeah. structured. It's interesting because I feel like you think in frames. Uh huh. You're How do you building, think? You're always building in frames. I just stick things on there. <laughs> you gotta use frames, man. You gotta I, use your frames. I just, I just drop it. Hey, Hitchin, working in the U.S. There's a lot of um, polls going around, surveys. People are working remotely for the first time. Wait, who you're going to? Yeah. It's when when the work. I'm gonna drop this thing too. I definitely saw a guide from Trello too. Trello's guides are legit. Often they like always put out an article that's like speaking to my heart at that time. <laughs> It's kind of creepy. Like, how are they producing content Inception. that's always so relevant for me? But then again, I like only ever use base the most basic thing of Trello. So, okay, I just dropped into a PDF. Do you think I should extract this or? Oh my gosh, it's 29 pages. <laughs> you can extract a... I mean, I'll do a few. Yeah, just do like a, a few. And do like um, like pages one to. Did they just release this, or five? did it exist for them already? No, I think they. I think they've always had it. Okay, so you know what I like to do? I actually um, since it extracts the first page too, and I didn't skip it. Like. I normally just delete this first one so that I retain that initial like cover page. My extract is there an easier way. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So this one's you know, still so, the, yeah. yeah. So you can kind smart. of still do that. Never thought about that. Look, this one so never nice worked from bed. Just feel like page two. It's so key, dude. <laughs> Do you ever hear? Yeah. 
never work in bed. Yeah, it's good. I've also heard that your brain does like association. So if you're mm-hmm. working in bed, you actually lie down to sleep and your bread, your, you can't. your bread, your bed, your bed. <laughs> it's the, your, your brain. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Your brain associates bed with, um, with work. That's good. Yeah, can you imagine this? Dispelling remote work myths. Yeah, we tried that. It didn't really work and the remote people were getting fired. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How do you know people aren't slacking off? Because they're on Slack. No, I disagree. I think the problem is the same, right? <laughs> Like if you're in an office, somebody can spend just as much time talking to other people or browsing Facebook as they can when they're at home. At the end of the day, Mm -hmm. like when you do a performance review, how are you going to do it? You're doing it based off of the work they do. So you can do the same thing when you're remote. The difference is that people might not be working the whole time, but so long as you keep your your requirements for the work they produce the same. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's good. If they're not working, the, if they're not working the whole time and they're still meeting all of their goals, that just means that their life got better. Like yeah. <laughs> they're not 100%. working as hard for the same amount, for the same output. Well, I wonder too if it's like it's it's kind of like those mom- moments of interrupt moments of interruption in an office, right? Like, I feel like you can have less of those. You have more control over it. But I mean, it just depends too on your environment at home. I mean, it's not always the quietest. You might not have like an extra room for it. Yeah. Like to have your office. See what else is out here. I want to legit unpack this entire Trello thing. You can do it. I just want to do it. Let me see what it's happens. probably really good. Let's yeah. see. Did you know that it like it folds in underneath so it doesn't just do one long line? Nice, uh-huh. right? Yeah. That's great. Should I delete these? Yeah, sure. Never work from bed. Actually, how often do you use the Google image search from within here? I mean, when I need to pull in an image. You don't just go to Google and pull it in that way. The reason why it's faster is that you can actually select multiple images in the picker. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. And then drop them all in at once. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like what I'm doing now, yeah. I mean, the icon finder. Yep. Oh, I moved it over here. I see ya. Oh, I made it too small. I can't read it anymore. I'm gonna make it a little bigger. Sorry, probably make you dizzy. No, it's good. Thank you. All right, let's see what else is happening on the Twitter. Actually, a lot of people offering tips here. Like, if anyone needs tips from working for working from home, I've been doing it for the last seven years. Well, aren't you cool? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Melissa. No. I'm reading Twitter. Oh, that wasn't you talking? No. Oh, right I mean, it would be weird. okay if it was. I'm just teasing you. <laughs> you know, I think that's the interesting thing is like, what does your workspace look like when you're working remotely? Some people have some really cool ones here. Oh, look at that clean desk. I know. I have a hard time believing that. You think he tidied up before? <laughs> they had to have, right? Yeah. 
I'm looking for some good resources here. I love people that are using this. Can, do you see it? Yeah. <laughs> I want to be her when I grow up. Look at that determination. So Just walking funny. in. So good. Oh yeah, like this. I also just think like when you work from when you work from home, like you just have to be a little more comfortable with people seeing you in like your space mm -hmm. because. <laughs> Like I was on the call with a vendor and her kid was homesick, oh. you know, and you could tell like she was like looking over off screen because her kid like wanted her mom, you know, yeah. and it's like, I was like, do you want to like pick her up as we're finishing the call? She's like, would that be weird? And I was like, no, no. it's just real life. We're all human beings. Like mm -hmm. take care of your kid. Like they want her, yeah. their mom. Just pick up your kid. It's okay. Or like yeah. when dogs are barking or things like that. I don't know. Yeah. It just, it's actually, it forces you to just be more human, right? Yeah. You're a human being. But that uh, also requires your colleagues to like give you a break. Too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like not seeing it as, wow, how unprofessional. Yeah. Like we're, we're working. That's fine. Um, yeah. The other day I was in a meeting. Uh, with like Masha, Taylor, Casey, and I was uh, I was calling in for my phone, so you can't see everyone at the same time. It's whoever's mm -hmm. speaking. I saw Masha with her daughter. I was like, oh, Aww. and everyone was like, yeah, it's not cute. And I was like, Casey, I was actually talking about you. <laughs> it was her birthday. It's adorable. Do you think anyone else wants to? Uh, join in on our whiteboard wiki fun <laughs> oh yeah i don't know maybe who's available maybe. Know, it's getting late like over here in the in the pacific coast is anybody no, it's here in not. The office? it's 4 30. when you start at seven i'm for sure done that's, by now that's true that's true <laughs> that is very true hardcore done <laughs> yeah that's true that's true i know it's so pretty early um we were we you and i were messaging at 7 you know? <laughs> 7 we 15 were, this morning we were true well at least daylight saving i mean the good thing is that now it's it's like sunny <laughs> at seven and not dark what i feel like it got darker in the morning what, spring, really? spring forward wait Oh, this one's about hiring distributed team members. That's a really interesting challenge, isn't it? I thought I just saw something. I guess that's management of remote teams. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of thoughts about managing of remote teams. It's interesting. Yeah. How do you guys do it? I mean, do you use do you use a mural board or how do you guys keep updated on different things? Is it just at the team meeting, like weekly team meeting, you do it on Zoom? Like in customer success or customer experience? Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> as a team of one, <laughs> I find it really easy to keep myself up to date. Um, I hope so. Yeah. No, um, I know that the customer success team has started doing standups and then we have a weekly, mm. there's a weekly team meeting. Um, and then we have our dedicated Slack channel. Mm -hmm. I think for customer success, day-to-day -day work isn't collaborative. 
if that makes sense. Like you have your account. Well, and, there's so many, so many customer meetings and yeah. Onboardings like, and trainings. Right? It's not internally collaborative. So yeah. it's more like, I think what's interesting in the best conversations that, that we have as a team is like when we're discussing some sort of like we're discussing the kickoff call and the best mm. ways to, Oh, this is a, this is a panel video from, from distributed. Can I grab this? I guess I can't grab that um, page link. Okay. Um, anyway, what I was saying was they, the most interesting conversations is collaborative in the customer success team is when we're discussing things like how do you do the best kickoff call? Mm, mm -hmm. And when, especially like working with our colleagues like in for Amsterdam, a, like for a customer, right? Yeah. Like not specifically, not necessarily talking about a specific customer, but working on the idea of a kickoff call. Like mm -hmm. those are the kinds of things where you need like a specific meeting or um, perhaps there could be a board. But then almost every single customer success manager in Miro, it has like a side project working on the process of customer success. And yeah. for that, there are boards galore. That's true. All right. And everybody's board is different. Oh uh, yeah. I think that's what I like about, you know, using using all the arrow tools and photos and I you know, like screenshots and stuff. Just it's like start here. I kind of I sometimes organize it like a, a game board. Like a oh uh huh. I'll put like start here in the corner. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Huge arrow. If you're in the live stream, feel free to uh, put something in the chat. We are we are watching. <laughs> Matt is watching. I'm watching. <laughs> we're discussing. We're like collecting resources in a board concerning remote work. So if you have some thoughts or a resource that you found really helpful for remote work, go ahead and send it over, and we'll put it on the board. Or we'll cruelly criticize your opinion. Either one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Matt will Matt will really criticize your yeah. opinion. I'll cruelly criticize your opinion. Let's just make that clear. <laughs> Melissa won't do it. Melissa's nice. Should we do this um, spreadsheet to sticky note on the board? I wonder what I should do it for. So like we have this spreadsheet of um, various ones. What was your question? Actually, That's we have someone from the chat. We actually oh, have a we? chat. You ready? Yeah. Daniel Huang's. I think I'm hoping I'm saying your last name right. He says, that's an interesting topic. How do you best create breadcrumbs or navigation? No, on the board. I assume he's talking about within the board. Um, I can like share some stuff if you wanna pass the screen share back over to me or what is your opinion yeah. actually? Bread how, do you, bread how do you create like navigation? Oh, he's probably referencing your start here button, your start here thing. That's yeah, why yeah, he's yeah. saying that. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Do you have a board yeah. that you could share where you did that? I mean, I could just, I could do it on the board now. Yeah. So let me see here. Is this it? Nope. Hold on. We're going a little like meta here. Like, okay. Can you see my? Uh, yeah, we can see the board, board again. Okay, great. Like sometimes what I'll do is I'll just use yeah. sticky note. And I'll just say like, like say this is like step one, step two, step, oops, step three.
like sometimes I'll just use like the sticky notes as kind of like a navigation bookmarks. I think. Thanks. Hey, did you see the uh, scripts? Sorry, going on going uh, on a little tangent here. Let me show you. So you know how sometimes you have like all these sticky notes, right? And they're all just not arranged. So now if you highlight them, you can see the scripts here. And oh, you know this is this is only for our account though, right? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a uh, there's Secret. a nice little plug for the what do you call it the API. If you want to build Miro. extensions for Miro, yeah, this was hackathon. This is for the winter hackathon. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah, I love this. Adjust stickers and oh wow, I just made them undefined for some reason. And there you go, nice little bug there. Here, pass it over to me. I have something. I have something to say about this. Okay, fine. Okay, but anyways, like what I was saying, I'd do like step one, step two, step three, and then I would just link, I would link mm -hmm. the sticky notes, you know, to the frame. Oh, I should have let you finish before I grabbed it. Well, I'll say, I'll show them how. So if you click on a sticky note here and you click on the three dots and you click link to, you can either paste in a URL or you can highlight objects in the board. So in this case, she's talking about highlighting a specific frame. So I'll highlight the first frame here, click confirm, and then it creates this little this little arrow. And you can go ahead and navigate that way. But um, alternatively, I want to do a shout out for the notes. So this is a relatively new feature that people are still getting used to and figuring out like how do they want to use it. But over here, oh yeah, this is good. You you could do like a project summary, maybe or a board summary um, and pin it open. So if you click right here, it pins the board, the board notes open. So that way when somebody joins the new board, they're, it's gonna pull out. And um, it means that they, they'll, they're gonna see it. It's like very <laughs> positively intrusive. <laughs> and so we could do like uh, board, oh my gosh. Uh, board <sighs> summary, I guess. I don't know. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say, like, the goal of this board is to create a repository of all the cool um, all of the cool resources for remote work. Spelled resources wrong. And then what you can do is do a nice little bullet points. Then you can do section one. And within that, if you go and you grab the, the oops, you go and you grab the frame link. You can make this a hyperlink. And this will actually navigate your left part of your board like that. Mm -hmm. Have you tried actually dragging the frame in? <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's another way you could do it. So what she's talking about is if you grab content on a board, any content, and then you drag it over, you can see how it, it stopped being moved on the canvas. And now I have this blue bar here. And if I release my, my mouse, it'll actually drop the content into the notes. And we can, um, it'll stay updated. So it'll like, it's tied to it. So I can mm -hmm. like refresh it if updates are made to that that collection of objects. I can also click this little arrow and it'll take me to it as well. Um, I wonder if that's even a better way to do it. Like instead of doing bullet points, you just do. Yeah, I think you just uh, 
put a little heading. You could do H1, yeah. Mm -hmm. Frame one. Because not everybody's going to know that they can click on that, though. So I still might do a hyperlink for frame okay. one, but then explain what it is and stuff. And then at the very least, like they might, because they visually have a copy of it here, they might be able to find it more easily on the board. Yeah, just the re being able to recognize it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a super interesting point, actually. Mm -hmm. Even we're figuring out how to use notes because it's still like a new feature and um, uh, it's really yeah. versatile, actually. Yeah. Um, Thanks for your question, Daniel. Yeah, that was a good one. If anybody think, else has any topics, go ahead. He said he's, uh, he's trying it right now, or he says I'm doing it on my board right now. Nice. So let's see here. I think well, we've been live for almost an hour now. <laughs> Should we start wrapping up? Hit, hit, nudge, nudge. Yeah. I, okay, can we do the, um, I'm wondering the spreadsheet cells to sticky notes, how we can maybe show that. Do you want to pull in all the links from our, our blog post spreadsheet? Yeah. Uh, like, for instance, the, the yeah. example that I gave you about sales, things like that. And then I would ask them. No, I cannot even. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Hey, it worked, though. Just get rid of these. Yeah. I mean, that works. I did it over there on the, the left. I don't know if you saw. I see it. So for the, um, there, there's the orange. <laughs> there's that orange coming back, coming back to the orange. So for those of you watching my screen share, I just took some yeah. cells from this spreadsheet in which we have like a bunch of links to blog posts we've written or we've written or links to videos and things like that and copied it to my clipboard. And then I just pasted it onto the canvas and it pasted all of the cells as sticky notes. Yeah. So in this case, we could go to the link. I did not think that of yeah. each one of these resources I mean, with like, the name on the like, left. Um, oh, this looks cool. I just jumped in. All things I've seen on Twitter. Uh, let's see here. You know what I like about, I think the sticky notes, see, like I, I always hear like a lot about sticky notes. If I can, maybe you can help me categorize if I share my screen. Yes, yeah, I think yeah. with the sticky notes, right? Like it seems, seems like, oh, it's like a, what a basic feature. <laughs> It's not. Uh -huh. I like adding these tags. Um, does it have yeah, kind true. of categorizing thing? Yeah. It's it's really for the search, right? So like, let's see. How can I start categorizing these? Running a remote. 
fashion. Well, I grabbed them all from one category in the spreadsheet. <laughs> so, okay, so it might be. <laughs> might be. What, what is the category for that? Uh, I think I grabbed remote rituals was the category. Yeah, well, these are all, so like these are all videos here. Oh yeah, that's true. Or maybe, I mean, all right, cool. Add tag there. Here, and these then, are agile. These are I really like this. These are scrum ceremonies. There's another Academy video. I wonder who made those. I wonder <laughs> what loser. My video doesn't Spent fit. His time making those. All right, there we go. If anybody in the in the chat has any last questions, post them now. Or forever hold thy peace. We will never answer your questions. We will after never this. answer your questions. This is it. Okay, let's see. Is there a lot of background noise? Can you hear it? It's not bad. Okay. He says that in Brazil, like, um, that's another remote tip. Um, Invest in a microphone. Yeah. Actually, I'm using, um, have you heard of Crisp? No. Crisp.ai. It mutes uh, background noise. It's been pretty good. Your your audio is surprisingly good for using yeah, like, one of these. Don't hate on my <laughs> iPhone. <laughs> that sounded very hateful. My iPhone uh, earbuds here. Mm -hmm. I don't have like a. I should help you. I'm just like watching you do this. Yeah. Like I know this you're task. What I'm doing here, but please help out. You've got like to. Secretly fuming at me because I'm like just not doing anything. <laughs> it's as usual. No worries. All good. All good. Yeah. Matt casually never doing work. Of course. Just creating these like academy videos. Uh huh. It's the only thing. Right, let's do some. Oh gosh. And for those of you who don't know, you can play the video right from within Miro's canvas. Are you, an, are you an announcer now? Yeah. <laughs> no way. Did it just turn this into a bracket? It did. Oh, I didn't even know we could do that. That's legit. Did you see that? Did yeah, you see I it did. change? Well, I mean, did you have... Did yeah, you have, you must have had smart drawing on, right? Yeah, but I didn't know we could, I didn't know we created yeah. that. I didn't know yeah. you could do brackets. That's yeah. true. I, didn't I thought know it that. was just uh, like shapes. Wow. You My brackets? I hate drawing brackets. Oh, it did it though. Did it? Let me see, where are you? Maybe it's just like this. You have to um, do the little. You have to do the little thing. <laughs> yeah, whatever it's called. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did it. I yeah. Yay. Our bracket shape is very interesting. Videos. FYI. Click to play. Should I play one of these? Sure. Convo. It better be one of mine. Otherwise, I'm just leaving the live stream right now. Oh yeah, look at this one. This non-academy one looks great. Uh, yeah, this marketing <laughs> one looks great. Okay, here. Here, let's play it. Obviously you won't hear anything because why would you? Uh, 
Actually, I can barely hear my voice. Is my voice more beautiful or less beautiful in real life? What was that? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I don't want to repeat it. I'm being stupid. Please repeat it for I said, everyone watching. I said, is, it, is my voice more beautiful or less beautiful in real life? Why would it be... Wait, but why would it be different than what you've recorded? Because, I don't know, I edited it. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. I mean, it sounds the same, so. All right, there you go. Do you like how I'm not answering your question? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your voice is not beautiful, Matt, at all. It's not. It goes cries. Oh. All right, well. Well, this is, this is a lot here. I think we. <laughs> well, I'm pretty proud. Yeah, this is good. The next steps would be to go up above and start creating like a proper presentation out of this or turning the notes into an output. Like if we were creating like some sort of resource for people on how they should work remotely now that they have to or something like this, mm -hmm. then I wouldn't send them to this board. I would create, I would go from here and I would create an output and the board output could be in the board but it needs to be like more curated use the frames but with the 16 by 9 shape to create the slides and then yeah. the there. maybe i'll just do this really quick so i think this is always something that is a wow feature so each of the frames the basic it's basically what you would think of as a slide right in the presentation so if i click presentation mode yeah. i can still go through each one but I could also just go full presentation mode here. Still zoom in. I think I really like this because a lot of the times, I mean. It's like distracting having the full board there. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's distracting, but also not having to take what you've already worked on and putting it, yeah, putting it in a slide like deck right so yeah. it's just nice being able to show your work and not having to prepare to show your work yep doing the work to do the work sort of thing all right well i think this is good for now we'll probably come back and do some more live streams later thanks for joining whoever whoever did thanks for daniel's one question Daniel Very inspiring Daniel Daniel the, the clutch number one question. number one fan number one. <laughs> all right well thanks thanks Matt I'll uh talk to you. you later yeah sounds good bye all everybody. right bye